I started off the Raptor Wildlife Refuge um, about 12 years ago um, and it's for the purpose of rehabilitating injured raptors um, and other wildlife that come to us. But I gained um, wildlife knowledge in a vet clinic I worked in, the Kimberleys, in um, far northwestern Australia. And when I returned back to my home place of Tassie, that I wanted to put this knowledge to some use. Um, basically, I became a wildlife carer with the Nature Conservation Branch. A lot more raptors were coming um, for help, so I just thought it would be a great idea to uh, to have some facilities where I could fly and uh, fly them and get them fit. And they've got to be fit to go back to the wild. So, um, you know, we're still getting wedge tails. Approximately 50, 50 are still getting shot a year, um, but we're only getting to see 10 or 20 of those that actually come in for care. Um, we've got, you know, uh, wind farms are a, is a huge issue. Um, quite often they don't get to see us either. They get, um, they're killed before they get to us. They don't get a second chance. And we've got um, infrastructure with the power companies. Um, and they're getting electrocuted and, and zapped. Um, and they're having collisions with power lines. So there's just a few. And um, forestry um, habitat destruction is a, is a massive problem. Got two boo books, um, a mast owl, uh, two swamp harriers, two brown falcons, two peregrine falcons, an Australian hobby, um, a tawny frogmouth, one sea eagle, and eight wedge tail eagles. The bulk of these birds would be power line collisions here, but we've also got a shot wedge tail eagle. Um, I've got a sea eagle that um, was possibly poisoned, which is another issue they're facing. So basically, every bird here is because of a man made problem. Not yet, no, just wait. Please. Oh, okay. So, um, this wedge tail eagle got shot um, about four weeks ago. It's one of about 50 birds that get shot each year, and only about 10 or so actually come in for care. Um, this bird got shot in its wrist joint or its carpus joint um, and probably won't be released back to the wild. Um, we'll be using it as an educational tool, or it possibly might go to another wildlife park. He's come down here to go in the big flight ovaries to see how he's going to go. Um, but from what the vet's report is saying that he's, there's too much um, damage from the shot and, and he won't be releasable, so he's not going to be good enough to be able to fly out in the wild. The people that shoot these birds um, are, are lower forms of life. They're not very intelligent um, and they're not shot by accident. They're shot on purpose. To be able to prosecute the people that shoot these birds, we need the public's eyes. We need to know where these um, perpetrators are and we need to be um, courageous in um, letting the authorities know um, what's been going on. Call me, um, call Parks and Wildlife, um, call the police if you have to, call anyone, um, but be courageous in actually letting them know and not hiding behind a veil of silence.